Hello guys, I'm Evelyn and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today we are decorating an apartment for a fashion designer. I think or I'm pretty sure that this was suggested by one of you guys by the way. Either fashion designer or fashion stylist. I went with the fashion designer because I thought it would make a little bit more sense in the game or can you actually be a fashion stylist? I'm not sure. I haven't played with the new careers yet so let me know if you can also be just a stylist or if you can just be a what's it called fashion influencer kind of thing anyways so that's what we're doing today we're decorating an apartment for an upcoming fashion designer this is decorated in Pedipasas's apartment so it is actually in the fashion district in Zamashuno which I thought would be pretty fitting plus I really like her apartment there's just something about the layout with her apartment that makes it really easy to play around with floor plans and stuff so yeah big fan of Penny's apartment the only thing I would want to change is that freaking elevator that's in the middle of everything it's a little bit weird but we're working around it anyways today so I hope you guys like this apartment the color scheme we're going for throughout the whole thing is basically white gray black and then with a little bit of blue mainly from the rugs that I've put down because I thought there was missing some color I didn't want to do another just black and white apartment but I wanted it to be really clean and not too crazy color wise so yeah, went for more of a neutral kind of color scheme this time. I know that some of you guys have been requesting if I could do like a crazy colorful apartment and I do have an apartment theme planned for Sunday next week that should be crazy colorful so hopefully I'll have time to do that for next week but um yeah this time we're just sticking to more neutral colors and then the style we're going for is definitely modern and contemporary and then I don't I don't fully know if you would call those wall dividers like kind of boho with the pattern I don't fully know but I definitely think they add some kind of of other element to the style in this apartment but it's mainly contemporary and mid-century modern so or just modern so I really like this combination and I think it looks really stylish in this apartment too and then I have mainly chosen plain white walls and I just played around a little bit with those uh, bricks that are from Get Famous if I'm not mistaken. I really like using that brick for accident walls I think it looks really good especially in that black swatch because we don't have another brick That's just completely black and I don't know what it is. It just kind of speaks to me I really like it also just ignore the fact that the bookcase here is turned the wrong way Don't worry. I turn it around later on in the video So or in here just a bit. no when I go back and clutter it up just a little bit more I turn it around so don't worry about that I don't know why I hadn't noticed because I moved it from the hallway to the kitchen and I didn't turn it around when I moved it so I just kind of left it be like that but don't worry later on I do notice and I turn it around so yeah also by the way I want to say thank you so so much for 40,000 subscribers that's just insane to me that's a lot of people so thank you for joining us here and welcome if you're new hopefully you're enjoying the content expect more coming soon um I do I'm in a kind of like a good phase right now where I post like at least five times a week or something like that and I'm really enjoying it so yeah lots of content coming your way but I just want to say thank you so so much like it means a lot to me <laughs> so thank you for, for your support and um, yeah hopefully you guys will like what's coming in the future also by the way so today the sims dropped a trailer and there should be a trailer reaction video coming up on the channel here tonight by the way so keep an eye out for that if you're interested but I did see all the all the chaos going on on Twitter yesterday. <laughs> if you're not on Twitter, by the way, you should definitely come join us over there because there's a lot going on all the time, all the time, and the gurus are tweeting, and we're all like, it's a nice place to just interact with each other as well. You can also follow me over there. I think my tag is still Evelyn Sims, if I'm not mistaken, but um, there was definitely some weird stuff going on on Twitter yesterday. Very strange. <laughs> so that's going to be super exciting to see what's happening today. I'm very excited to do the reaction video as well. And I hope that you guys will be looking forward to that too. It shouldn't be up on the channel right now, but it should be coming up later, I think. So hopefully I'm editing as we speak or as we speak as this video is going live I will be editing the trailer reaction video so hopefully it'll be up tonight but um yeah let me know what you think if you saw the trailer already let me know what you think about it and if you saw all the all the gifts yesterday let me know what you think about those like are you excited do you think it's 
super weird because same <laughs> and, and yeah just uh, let me know so the sim that lives in this apartment is obviously a fashion designer I want to say that they're up and coming and not like they're not super successful yet because they do live in a smaller apartment and for some reason I just think that a super successful fashion designer would live in a bigger apartment and have room for all these different things wouldn't have to do their brainstorming and I you know think of ideas for different designs or you know whatever they do in the kitchen which is where I put the work area I did put a computer here in the hallway area sort of but the sketch pad and also the board the, the thing on the wall I forgot what that's called but the, the board on the wall <laughs> that they use to put impressions on and stuff I did put that in the kitchen because there is a table so I figured they could sit there and do their work plus it's a nicer kitchen anyway Anyway, so it's fine but I figure if you're a super successful designer you would probably be able to afford a bigger apartment and want a room dedicated to being an office so you could work in there instead of working in your kitchen so that's why I think they're an up-and-coming designer rather than you know super successful already so yeah they also live here with their dog I imagine the dog to be a chihuahua just like a little dog just running around the apartment it's probably super spoiled you know but I definitely wanted them to have room for a pet and I often I often put cats in apartments instead of dogs especially especially instead of bigger dogs because bigger dogs in my mind need like a backyard to run around in and be crazy and chase birds and all that stuff I think it's easier to have a smaller dog when living in an apartment rather than a bigger dog but I thought it was about time that I put a dog in one of the apartments and then also I chose a chihuahua because I just have this there's something about the fashion industry and chihuahuas isn't there like I feel like I've seen a lot of people either you know fashion icons or designers walk around with these small chihuahuas in their arms so like almost like an accessory sort of which is a little bit weird to me but anyways so I thought it would be fitting if they had room for a small dog and I imagine them to have a chihuahua also this is when I noticed so I just flipped it around so it's turned the right way and hopefully I didn't actually play test that I did make my sim walk around the apartment just to make sure that nothing was too close together so there there will be no rooting problems and everything was fine I didn't test the bookcase but it should be fine despite that little poof uh, being in front of it they should still be able to take books from it but in case it's not you can just remove the poof and everything will be fine I also forgot to talk about the floor plan but basically I decided to try something new because usually I put the bedroom where the kitchen currently is and then I put the living room actually like right where the living room is but I wanted to try something new so I decided to swap it around I did keep it open here because there would be no window where the bedroom is and that's a no-go for me so I decided to just put some wall dividers in between so it's kind of closed off from the rest of the apartment but it's still open plan in that way and then the kitchen is sort of closed off as well so I just put an archway between the two rooms so like I said it's sort of closed off but there's still some openness about it and I like how this uh, floor plan turned out I like that it's a little bit different from what I've done before but anyways if you do like this build you can download it off the gallery my ID is EvelynYT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT and it's uploaded under the name 131221 Chic Street it says in the upper left corner right now and I've also written it in the description down below along with the prize of the apartment and what else how many students can live in there as well I think and stuff like that always check the description by the way and other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did and I will see you all in the next one bye bye
I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself Now and then I'll try to laugh, but I'll cry a bit as well I was never any good